Welcome to the Infinite Jurisdiction Podcast. It's your host, Gonzalo, with another episode for you this week. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, this channel tracks my journey through law school. Uh, it serves two goals. On the one hand, it's a uh, creative project for myself, and it's also a nice historical record of my time uh, at law school. And on the other hand, the second goal is to uh, impart some advice or wisdom or tips for current, prospective, or future law school students. Um, uh, this uh, vlog normally is split into three parts. The first week, I kind of just talk about what's going on during the week. Uh, the second part, I talk about some specific uh, tip for the week. And then in the last part, I talk about something more philosophical, something more um, uh, kind of general about the law or being, in a, uh, being a lawyer or being in law school that um, I happen to be thinking about and I want to share. So, um, beginning with the first part, uh, weekly catch up. What am I doing personally, law school wise? What am I doing? So, um, it's midterms, uh, and uh, I have two midterms this week. I have four classes and an externship, so uh, very busy. Um, the midterm shouldn't be too bad. Uh, one of the classes is two units, so. Uh, the exam is only an hour, and the other midterm is uh, three units, so also not too difficult. So preparing for those. Um, uh, on the personal side, um, things are going well. Um, uh, uh, this semester is a lot more busy than last semester, so one really has to plan and time manage uh, well to make sure you're fitting in uh, one's desired work um, life balance. Uh, I, I know as a 1L um, there's just so much going on that you can't fine tune that balance um, too much um, but in your second year once you kind of get a grasp on the academic side of things and know what you need to do to um, do well in your classes you could um, better manage your uh, your your life side of the balance. So I'm trying to do that um, this semester, um, and things are going well. I think I think I'm splitting a a, a good uh, a, I'm striking a good balance. Um, <laughs> if I if you ask my friends or family, it's probably very much leaning toward the work side, but. Um, so uh, there are sacrifices um, that need to be made, um, and as long as your goals align with, uh, with uh, as long as the, the way you partition your time aligns with your goals, I think, uh, and in the end, that's the best you could do. Um, uh, but yeah, that's what's going on this week. I kind of <laughs> split into the tip, uh, into giving advice there, but. Um, uh, it just happens to be what what I'm thinking about. Um, getting more explicit into the tip of the week, we can move on to that portion of the show. Um, as I mentioned, midterms are going on, and um, my my tip for the the week is going to be um, take practice exams uh, soon into the semester, and as many as you can with the caveat that you know enough to make those practice runs um, fruitful. But it, it's imperative that you take practice tests, I think, over everything, um, more so than participating. I know last week I talked about one's approach to lecture. Um, over and above lecture, over and above your outlines. Outlines are very important, but even more important than outlines and lecture and office hours, I think, are practice exams. Um, uh, again, everyone has to find their own uh, individualized plan for learning what seems to be best, but 
I think it's fair to say that taking practice practice exams is um, indispensable to anyone's learning process. The I always think I know the material decently well um, until I take a practice exam. Um, in lecture, one feels good about the material. It's like, okay, I understand this. Uh, it's coming together. When I first read the textbook, I didn't really understand it, but now the professor is elucidating it in a way that makes me um, understand the materials better. Uh, and then you outline the material, and you're <laughs> writing the rules down, and you're writing the cases, and uh, you really feel that you could understand that you understand material, but once you actually are given a fact pattern and you have to apply the rules and the concepts to a novel factual scenario, one begins to quickly realize the deficits in one's knowledge of the instant law. Um, so, um, in my experience, I think I know the material. I always think I know the material, regardless of the class, until I take an exam. And then I have a myriad of questions on uh, how this rule actually works with the facts at hand. So, uh, tip. It's simple, but it's hard. Um, take practice exams. They're super important. Hopefully your professor provides some um, past exams. Um, in my experience, if the professor does provide past exams, I would strongly recommend going through as many of them as you can. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's super important to take those practice exams. Um, I'm thinking about another tip, but I think I'll save that for next week. Um, but yeah, take practice exams. They're kind of a pain because you have to stim uh, simulate practice-like um, uh, circumstances or, um, <sighs> excuse me, um, practice uh, exam-like conditions. But um, it's a necessary evil. So do those practice exams. Um, it'll be to your benefit. And the, uh, the earlier, the better. Because like I said, you're going to take the exam and then you're going to realize you don't really understand the material as much as you do. And then you're going to have to uh, make time to either go to office hours or um, find some way to better understand the materials. Um, so yeah, take practice exams. Uh, moving to the last portion of the uh, the video, um, I wanted to talk about <clears throat> a something that's been pressing on my mind since the first few the last weeks of summer, which is being in the present. Um, sounds very. <laughs> Um, new agey and spiritually and uh, I think there's a way speaking from like a secular perspective to, to take on those kind of sayings and not be <laughs> worrying about like the spiritual or the, the mystical or uh, new age nonsense that comes with um stuff like that, but uh, being in the present, if you want to secularize it or making or make it less uh, woo-woo, just thinking about it as being focused on whatever it is you're doing, I think is something that's becoming increasingly important in how I think about things, because um, what I was originally worried about was that because you're so busy, um, 
time flies and you don't really have time to enjoy um, this process. Um, I'm a 2L. Um, reflecting back on my first year of law school, it just slingshotted by at an unbelievable speed because you were just so busy and overwhelmed with the novelty and difficulty of it all. So that's one thing. But now it's almost like the flip side of you being so busy that you can't really appreciate the moment. There's almost the opposite of that seems to be like in moments of absolute boredom, especially amongst my generation and in the world of social media and tech, in the sh- in the presence of boredom, distraction is the quick and easy outlet to wanting to pass the time, and even in those bored situations i find myself still wanting to be present and it's even more difficult in those situations because you feel justified in wanting to uh speedily pass pass uh the time um you know when time flies when you're having fun it makes sense to wanting to enjoy the moments, even when they're speeding by. But when <laughs> time is sluggishly um, uh, ticking away, when you're in an extremely boring lecture or tedious reading or arduous outlining process, <clears throat> one wants to distract themselves out of that to pass the time the the twitter the youtube is a time machine to get themselves out of this abysmal boredom that they're in and you feel justified in wanting to get out of there but many of the situations not all but many of the situations do demand or should res- should command your focus, your presentness, your willingness to be in this moment, Um, uh, because I think it bleeds into other areas of life. When you're engaged in a conversation with someone, um, when you're engaged in another task, um, even if it's not particularly boring, those same... um, tendencies or habits that you've built to distract yourself when you're bored are always battling for the spotlight of your attention um so recently um because i will admit i have two fantastically boring courses this week this year and it's not the fault of the subject matter but perhaps the fault of other things um and so it, it does take a great amount of discipline to tell myself, okay, I'm here. Um, don't go on Twitter. Don't go on YouTube. Don't shop on Amazon. Um, just commit yourself to whatever it is that you're doing. Because um, I do think it bleeds into the other areas of your life where perhaps you don't want to, but you're just so used to doing it. Um so yeah that's what i've been thinking about being present in the good times and the bad times um the it's very it's very difficult i find and um i can't imagine cuz i feel i could be wrong <laughs> but i feel that I'm somewhat good at keeping away from the distractions that I've developed. At least a mediocre discipline where if I'm in lecture, I'm 
not on my laptop. I'm not on my phone at all. Um, and um, so even me, who's kind of good at that kind of thing, still stumbles and just daydreaming, which isn't always a bad thing, but <laughs> unproductive, I should say, unproductive daydreaming. Um, looking through other stuff, uh, looking through the textbook, just just wanting to distract yourself in whatever way to get out of the present moment. Um, so I can't imagine the next generation who's attached to the hip to their their, their phones and uh, various social media sites. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the next generation of lawyers deals with um, just being focused on having to be doing things that aren't utterly stimulating. Uh, talking to a client, filling out motions, looking through one's emails. I'm going on a tangent about a separate topic about something I should talk about later. But yeah, I'm just staying in the present. That's something that I'm trying to focus on. And uh, it's going poorly. Uh, but I'll continue at it. And if there's any overarching themes of this vlog, uh, it'll be that one of them will be that just keep trying. Um, despite the setbacks and the failures, utterly cliche, utter platitudes, but, um, this one at least, um, is unquestionably true um and uh you'll learn you'll learn the veracity of the clean ones if you're not already in law school once you go to law school because it's just um trial and error locally and globally until <laughs> until you graduate and even in practice it'll continue so get used to <laughs> failing and learning um like i said in an earlier podcast uh the good news is that you're gonna make mistakes um the bad news is that you're gonna have to learn from them um so prepare yourself in whatever way you need to to get in that uh frame of mind but yeah that covers everything that i, I wanted to talk about this week um <clears throat> uh, if i'm looking at my calendar above i am seven weeks into my semester almost halfway through the semester of my 2l year um again one of my goals in this podcast is to just record um myself in this experience of uh, this three-year journey and it's going by so quick uh but i'm enjoying it and this semester is peculiar and unique and utterly utterly brilliant and um i've had difficult months in the past year and i'm working my way out of what was at one point a seemingly <laughs> um, unbearable uh, situation uh, full of doubt and self-contempt and all the nasty things that occur to you in those situations. So um, I'm riding high and um, if I can if it is not already um, non-verbally communicative of my current state of mind, I'll say it verbally, it's going, um, it's going well. And uh, my future self um, uh, my future self should be able <laughs> to know that, that um, things do get better. 
and um, uh, I'm talking to my future self here, but I'm also talking to people, the audience in general. Um, things do get better, and part of this exercise that I'm engaging in is that effort to catalog just the weekly ups and downs that is um, so common in life and not to despair um, because uh, uh, things change and uh, things change and eventually if your intentions and goals and you're being honest with yourself you'll get to the appropriate happy state that you're after um just just keep on commu- just keep on having a conversation with with yourself and things will get better um that's my cat um so that's everything i want to cover uh rambling at the end sorry for that but yeah that was this week's um episode i release these every friday morning um uh, i try to at least um but yeah that covers this week i'll see you guys next week and (laughs) and thanks for watching bye bye